In this example, we are going to add a few elements to the scene and use a 3D primitive as a mask. So let's start with adding a flag and I'll reduce it in size a little bit. Now let's add a texture map to the top, which will act as a highlight. I'll resize that so it's approximately the same size as the as the flag. Now select the rendering properties and uh, set the blending to be additive. And we'll adjust the alpha just a little bit. Now let's add a 3D primitive pod to the top of the two layers. In the plugin properties, uh, we'll adjust the skew and add some rounded corners. Now I'm not going to uh, select the maintained shape just because I want to show you what happens if you don't select that. So we'll add some uh, roundness to all the corners. And now when we go to the uh, XYZ properties and adjust the X scale, the shape of the pod will be a little bit distorted. The skew doesn't hold the same shape. So go back to the plugin property and click maintain shape. And now the adjusting of the scale will not distort the pod. So now let's change the names of the elements so that they're easier to uh, see what they are. And before we do anything I want to copy and paste the pod and bring it down to the bottom of the elements. Well, we'll use this as, a, as the flag BG when we're done. So let's label the rest of the elements. And let's also group the flag and the highlight and move it below the mask. And we'll rename that as well. Now let's go to masking, the masking properties. And we'll select layer one. Now the source will be the flag mask, which is the 3D primitive. And then in this case, we want to invert the mask. So the flag is masked inside the pod. And the target will be the flag and texture group. Now when we use 3D primitives as masks, we have to do one more thing to the pod. Go to the surface property and bring the alpha down to zero. At this point, we can make some fine tuning adjustments on the highlight if needed. So now we want to select uh, the flag BG because what I'm going to use that for is, is a sort of a border around the flag. So we select the flag BG and just make it a little bit bigger. First of all, we'll change it to being white and make it a little bit bigger so it looks like a border around the flag. So we'll scale it in the X and the Y and then adjust the position as well. Now you can leave it as white or we can also add a texture to the, to, uh, to the shape and make it reflective. So go to Surface Properties, select the bitmap that you want and make it reflective. Now the last thing I want to do is have an animated flare going across the surface. So let's copy the, the flag BG and uh, paste it down and it becomes on top and then we'll change the texture. Now reflective was already set on this one so I want to actually turn the reflective off. And we'll change the, the mapping to clamp. And let's also turn the texture so it's at the same angle as the flag. Um, but I want to uh, adjust the X and Y center to 0.5 first, and then now rotate the angle. 
and finally scale the image a little to extend it uh, top and bottom so that looks fine. Now we'll go to rendering properties and turn the blending on this to additive as well and bring the alpha down a little. So with this selected let's extend the timeline down to about seven seconds and using the X offset adjust the position to the left move down the timeline and adjust the X offset uh, offset to the right and finally in the transition properties we'll select this to loop and finally let's select all of the elements in the scene graph and group them all into one group so it's very easy to animate it resize it or move it around the screen Now if we play the animation, you'll see that the highlight then goes through uh, the, the flag. Uh, so let's scale it down a little bit and move it uh, into the left top corner. Now because uh, this is already done, I can actually just copy that whole group and paste it down to get a second flag. There's the second flag. Now simply just uh, open up that flag and change the flag to a new flag. And very quickly, we have a nice looking flag with, a, with the new masking tool in Lyric.